It's the ugly side of enforcing COVID restrictions. I didn't want to wear a mask. A shopper dragged out of Parramatta Westfield. I actually am standing for the truth. Protesting he shouldn't have to wear a mask, but the rules say everyone must in any non-residential indoor area, particularly on trains. This video taken by a Sydney train passenger. I don't wear a mask ever. So, I'm sorry. Well, you can't travel on a train. I can travel on a train. I have an exemption. But she refuses to show it. Won't give her name either. I'm not obliged to give you my details. I know my rights. I know oh, my sure rights. Oh, you do? Yes. Officers take her bag and lead her off the train. Things go downhill fast. I have anxiety and asthma. Now give me my bag. She insists her exemption is personal. You know this. I know you can see it in my eyes. They couldn't. Led away, liable for a $200 fine. Yesterday, 59 infringements were issued. The vast majority of those, 43 of those, have been on the public transport system. The rules are clear. You must wear a mask on public transport, in hire cars, taxis and ride shares, and on platforms, bus and ferry stops. If you have a disability, you do need a doctor's letter. Two women were both fined $1,000 yesterday for breaching these stay-at-home orders, both of them travelling more than 200 kilometres from home. One of them claimed that she was just visiting a friend. The other one said she was taking a holiday. As for masks, they're a dollar each, beats a $200 fine or a case of COVID. Evan Batten, 7 News.